yeah and um so this is january uh, um in 2020 january february uh now the weather was very very cold but i was still um going to the market and trying to sell my things you know <laughs> which um got stolen in the Müller shop in Kiel again the eastern europeans uh, um were involved because um they wanted uh, part of my allowance i mean they have been after my allowance for many years uh, and that's what they do they they steal uh, people's bags and they then want uh, people to give them money for it uh, well you know i don't have any money right now do i have to do i go up to people and steal their bags you know and ask them for money i mean it seems like uh, 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 something that they are experts in you know they they actually plan this this sort of thing you know um to get pe people to be nice to them i say but it's just like um uh, uh, you know this is an attitude um that uh they have and anyway so uh that's uh, in mm, i i now uh, um um uh, weary about uh weary about uh, the uh the people who um um uh, always have a plan you know and uh um I get, well, uh, Brigitte uh, in Kale was a great help. She was she was from Freiburg and um, somebody called um, uh, Kaiser Stuhl. Uh, a lot of people I met were from Kaiser Stuhl, um, and um, her husband. Uh, she said well, is an engineer and she worked in the town hall and uh, when my bags got stolen I thought that these people would help me get my bags back but um, they just uh, they didn't so um, <coughs> I I, um, I came away thinking oh uh, oh well you know uh, I can't get any, anything here in, in Kale I mean I've already lost the opportunity um, to do my show I was going to do a, a show of Arabic words um, uh, writing in um, in the Kale Medioteca, but then that fell through because of the coronavirus, because everything was shut for two or three months. <coughs> in 2020, um, uh, here I, I say, I, 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 in, in, on the 11th of February, I went back to Paris, and uh, so you know i was um i was like in um in the bu fix using the fixed bus and this and that you know um going to paris thinking that paris was my base you know i thought uh, uh, it was a place where i had friends but when um you know they stole my uh, um things uh, 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 even in, in, in Margaret's place then I could see that uh, things had changed a lot and Pascal too wasn't very as uh, friendly as he usually was and um, so um, it 2020 was not a good year for me this is February, and then um, uh, 
um, I was at uh, at Margaret's place for some time. I did the big rolls, big wallpapers uh, that I'd found in the street in Luxembourg um, Gardens. And uh, so I was working on those uh, um, for all of the summer. And uh, finally, I, I had Brigitte make a, make a film uh, from them. But Brigitte, uh, when she sent me the film, the film wouldn't open. And later on, uh, her film was um, actually, um, I don't know what happened to it, but it wasn't there anymore. So um, that's another thing that they did. Uh, in 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 those days, uh, while I was at um, Margaret's, I had Mr. Maya do take some photographs of my paintings. And uh, one painting, the photographs uh, of um, the Eiffel Tower, wasn't coming through, and he didn't give me that one painting, uh, the the photograph of that one painting with the Eiffel Tower, and I gave that painting, I came back to pay Kale and gave that painting to uh, a woman called Larissa. She's um, um, German, Russian, and she was kind to me, you know, um, and um, um, Larissa uh, didn't know the value of that painting. I should have told her that there were people after that painting, and um, so um and then uh, there was a uh, these um well i mean paris seems to be such a struggle you know this People. I mean, you have to be f have protection in Paris. I don't know how Margaret lived in Paris for fifty years. You know, it's just very difficult. This is a this is a picture of um, of Frankfurt. I did this with the euro sign uh, 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 p statue. Uh, I did this in two thousand eighteen and sold it to uh, the a Polish woman who worked in the Laden. <laughs> Um, and um, that that was um, that was good. Um, I kept on living in at Margaret's. I thought I thought we had the same. I mean, there was the same situation, but it wasn't actually. There was something else. There was things had changed. Now the uh, yo the young man who uh, I'd met with Margaret many years ago, uh, who was presumably Adzak's son. I mean, there had been a thing going on uh, for many years, and finally, uh, this young man he won the case and uh, without doing a DNA test. And he um, he became the owner of Adzak, and now um, it was the transition time, the last months of uh, this museum becoming his property. Uh, so that's why I think um, a lot of people were not uh, feeling quite good about um, Adzak's future, especially people like uh, the Ghana, the Ghana spy Alfie, um, and his group of people um, who were getting their knickers wet because of. Uh, of this rich man becoming the owner of Adzak. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, I was um, 
I was uh, uh, there till the 1st of March. Um, I shouldn't have gone. Anyway, you know, I wasn't feeling too good about um, about um, my being in Paris anyway, you know. I shouldn't have gone there in the first place. I don't know why I went there, most, mostly because of the paintings. Actually, the, the good thing uh, uh, that happened was that I p did those paintings um, on the wallpaper, but... Um, then, you know, what to do? Nobody buys the, my stuff. So, you know, I just left it at Fanda and um, and um, God knows, you know, if, it, if I'll ever get that painting back. Uh, now, because of coronavirus, I can't go to... Um, that place but you know also I don't have any money to go there anyway um, to to Kel and um, and in Paris I went to this uh, mega thing in Marriott Hotel uh, by run by Mr. Fox this is a, 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 it was called the mega event for public speaking, but it wasn't really public speaking. He was just trying to sell his, I don't know what, his uh, 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 coaching um, um, experience. You know, uh, he was trying to sell something and but he said something good, and, and I remember him always because he talked about crabs, how crabs, you know, kill each other uh, uh, to uh, get out of the box. And um, that was really revealing. It was an, uh, um, uh, an enormous thing for me. I didn't really understand what the crab uh, story was about. Uh, but... Um, his talking about it was really um, it, it was a great help for me. 